Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss quantum numbers. Quantum numbers. Quantum numbers describes the size and orientation of atomic orbitals in space. Atomic orbitals in space. That means quantum numbers describes the size and orientation of atomic orbitals in space. The, these quantum numbers are mainly four types. Principal quantum numbers, azimuthal quantum numbers, magnetic quantum numbers and spin quantum numbers. Once again, these quantum numbers describe the size and orientation of the atomic orbitals in space. These uh, quantum numbers are four types, mainly principal quantum numbers, azimuthal quantum numbers, magnetic quantum numbers and spin quantum numbers and spin quantum numbers. First one, principal quantum number, principal quantum number. The principal quantum number is denoted by small n. It is denoted by small n. This principal quantum number describes the energy level, descri describes the energy level of electron within atom. Describes the energy level of the electron within atom. Within atom. That means it describes the energy level and it also determines the mean distance of the electron from the nucleus. That is, uh, it also describes the mean distance of the electron from the nucleus. That is the uh, size. That is size. That means uh, principal quantum number describes the size of atom. Describe the size of atom. And that means uh, if greater the value of n, the, the uh, value of, if greater the value of n, farther is the electron from the nucleus. Farther is the electron from the nucleus. If n is less, that is uh, nearest to the electron is nearest to the nucleus. Electron is nearest to the nucleus. Okay. Each principal shell can accommodate at maximum of two n square electrons. Each principal shell can uh, shell can uh, accommodate at a minimum of two n square electrons. That is, if n equal to one, the number of electrons are two into one square. Two into one square means two. If n equal to two, the number of electrons are two into two square. That means uh, two into four. That is eight. If n equal to three, the total number of two into three square. That means nine. Two into nine. That is eighteen. That is 18. Once again, the principal quantum number describes the energy level and also it describes the size. It describes the size. Uh, if the value of n is uh, greater, then the electron is uh, very farther from the nucleus. And if the value of n is uh, very less, then the electron is nearer to the nucleus. Nearer to the nucleus. And each principal shell uh, can accommodate at maximum of two n square electrons. That means if n equal to one, the number of electrons are Two. If n equal to two, the number of electrons are eight. If n equal to three, the number of electrons are eighteen. Okay. Next to quantum number, azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number. It is denoted by the letter L. Letter small L. This azimuthal quantum number describes the geometric shape of the orbital. Geometric shape of the orbital. Principal quantum number describes the size of the orbital. And the azimuthal quantum number describes the shape of the orbital. Very, very important. It describes the shape of the orbital. It is denoted by small l. The l values are nothing but from 0 to n minus 1. From 0 to n minus 1. If l equal to 0, the orbital is s orbital. If l equal to 1, it is a p orbital. l equal to 2, d orbital. l equal to 3 means next f orbital. Okay. But uh, the the shape it is it describes the shape of the orbital. It describes the shape of the orbital. If L equal to zero means s orbital. The shape of the s orbital is spherical. The uh, shape of the s orbital is spherical. The shapes are very very important. Okay. The shape of the s orbital is spherical. And the if L equal to one, it is a p orbital. The shape of the uh, p orbital is dumbbell shape. It is dumbbell shape. If L equal to 2, the shape of the, the, the orbital is D orbital. D orbital. D orbital. The shape of this D orbital is clover leaf shape. Clover leaf shape. Okay. 
नैक्स्ट वन नैक्स्ट क्वांटम नंबर मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर इट इज डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल एम दिस मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर डिस्क्राइब्स द डायरेक्शन डिस्क्राइब्स द डायरेक्शन और ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द ऑर्बिटल डिस्क्राइब्स द डायरेक्शन और ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द ऑर्बिटल दिस एम एल इज आर नथिंग बट माइनस एल टू प्लस एल एल इज नथिंग नथिंग बट अजिमुथल क्वांटम नंबर सो एम एल इज आर माइनस एल टू प्लस एल इफ एल इक्वल टू वन द एम एल इज आर माइनस एल टू प्लस एल दट मीन्स माइनस वन टू प्लस वन माइनस वन टू प्लस वन नेक्स्ट स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर इट इज डिनोटेड बाई एस आर एम एस एम सफिक्स एस The spin quantum number describes the spin of the electron. It describes the spin of the electron. That is whether it is clockwise or it is anti-clockwise. Whether it is clockwise or it is anti-clockwise. If it is a clockwise, the value is plus plus one by two. If it is anti-clockwise, it is a minus one by two. It is minus one by two. Okay. Next, electronic configuration of uh, elements. Electronic configuration of elements. That is uh, some principles in uh, electronic configuration. That is Aufbau principle. Aufbau principle. According to this Aufbau principle, the electrons occupy the orbitals in such a way that the energy of atom is minimum. The energy of atom is minimum. According to this principle, the electrons occupy the orbitals in such a way that The energy of the atom is minimum. The electrons in the atoms are filled in the. That is, uh, we can also say that that is the electrons in the atoms are filled in filled in the increasing order of their energies. That is, the electrons in the atoms are filled in the increasing order of their energies. That means the minimum energies are atoms. The minimum energy is electrons are filled first. and then uh, uh, higher energy atoms are filled next that is uh, oneness if the for the energies uh, the energy order is oneness is less than 2s is less than 2p is less than 3s and uh, less than 3p in this way it is uh, this uh, order is uh, this order is in the form of diagram it is easily understandable That is, one s, two s, three s, four s, five s, six s, and then next to p orbital, two p, three p, four p, five p, and three d, four d. In this way, first of all, the uh, electrons filled in the one s. That is, uh, first of all, one s, and then two uh, s, and then after two s, the uh, electrons are filled in the two p, two p, and then three s, and then next three uh, p, and then four s, and then three d, four p. And then 5s. After 5s, uh, 4d are filled, and then 5p, and then 6s. In this way, the electrons filled filled in the increasing order of their energies. That means uh, the minimum energies uh, are filled first, and then maximum energies are filled next. Okay. In this way, the energy, the atoms are, the electrons are filled. This uh, principle is called Aufbau principle. Aufbau principle. Next principle. Pauli's exclusion principle. Pauli's principle. According to this Pauli's principle, concerns the spin of electrons present in the or present in an orbital. That means this Pauli's principle is uh, for the spin of electrons present in the orbital. The spin of electrons present in the orbital. According to this principle, no two electrons can have all the four quantum numbers to be same. According to this principle. No two electrons can have all the four quantum numbers to be same. That means uh, uh, quantum numbers will be different. That means quantum numbers will be different. There is no two electrons uh, can have all the four quantum numbers have uh, numbers to be same. Only two electrons can occupy a given orbital. Only two electrons can occupy a given orbital. That is, spin quantum number is introduced by Pauli's exclusion, uh, Pauli's principle. That is, only two electrons can occupy the given orbital. Means, if it is a one orbital, only two electrons. Only two electrons. This is for a 
only this for uh, plus 1 by 2 this is for minus 1 by 2 that means plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 it is a spin thus that means uh, the spin quantum number is developed by this police principle this police principle that okay this police principle and uh, next principle hunt's rule next uh, hunt's principle or hunt's rule according to this uh, hunt's rule while filling the electrons in the orbitals of the same subshell each orbital is first singly occupied first singly occupied with the same spin and then uh, pairing takes place and then pairing takes place that means uh, if any atomic if any number that is uh, for example take nitrogen atomic number is 7 this uh, configuration is 1s 1s2 2s2 2p1 2p 2px1 2py1 2p z1 that means total 7 total 7 for this according to the hunts rule according to the hunts rule uh, uh, this is uh, from that is uh, electrons occupied is for 1s2 first of all uh, it is positive that is 1 by 2 and then uh, next it is completed the pair is completed first of all it is filled one one uh, one side and then it is completed next for this it is a total 3 we uh, total 3 that means for this first of all uh, completing one pair it is uh, electrons occupied each 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 one that is uh, first singly occupied each one and then uh, for next order if the uh, more than uh, atomic number 7 for this next one electrons filled this part and then filled this orbital and then filled this orbital and then total pair is completed that means uh, by completing each block it is a uh, electrons are singly occupied e, uh, every every orbital every orbital and then pairing take place and then pairing take place that means according to this uh, hunts principle while filling the electrons in the orbitals uh, in the orbitals of same subshell each orbital is firstly singly occupied singly occupied with the same spin that is semi, uh, spin is same same spin and then and then pairing takes place and then pairing takes place okay okay friends thank you and all the best